And yeah, and a few other Red Sox, and we kind of, um, my lead was, on, and for people to inherit, this is a perfect opportunity for you to be signing Jordan Montgomery based on what we saw with Blake Snell. I think both I, of those. Well, your suggestion was because Blake Snell was uh, apparently okay with a short deal, mm -hmm. a two-year deal. Right, that you now ought to be able, if you're the Red Sox, go and get the same from Jordan Montgomery. Right, because I think both of them wanted like seven year deals or something along those lines. Mm -hmm. And then when you see Blake Snell take that two years, you know, it's like thirty million a year. Now you know, okay, years wise, here's what the market is, and salary wise, here's what the market is for a type of pitcher of his caliber. Mm -hmm. So if you're the Red Sox, now you're sitting there going, okay, we now know where we need to be if we're really, really interested and we want to make a move on Jordan Montgomery. But I think uh, Curtis brought this up earlier. I, I think they told you, and, uh, and the, the delivery was made by Craig Breslow on this show, that they are not willing to pay uh, that uh, currently at that position 25 27 million dollars whatever it's going to cost you jordan montgomery they're at their limit for the year they're not adding if they were going to add they would have been doing it by now they're not, i honestly this is a year they're just trying to get to marcella mayor and get bayo to be an ace and you know next year when you're cost effective across the lineup across the infield all that nonsense then they'll invest which actually means they'll have the same payroll but they'll be able to pay for a free agent or two because the payroll will be lowered by the number of players on the rotation and in the infield and in the outfield that are under team control. So you'll have Marcelo Mayer making $700,000 to a million dollars. You'll have Tristan Cassis in year two of arbitration or year two with the organization at like 1.5 million. You know, yeah. you'll have a lot of guys. So you'll have 20 million with Story, 30 million with Devers. That's 50 million. But your right side of your infield will be about three. I guess maybe from, you know, from this Blake Snell deal with the Giants for two years and $62 million, if you if you're someone who believed that there was some owner collusion going on, then you can infer that it's just on the length of these deals, mm -hmm. not necessarily on the salary. And I would agree with that. So I so there's collusion because the reigning NL Cy Young Award winner is 31, and he had to do a pitch like like he was like Ricky Vaughn in Major League <laughs> trying to get people to watch him so he could get a contract. Well, yeah. he wanted nine years, I believe, initially, and I think it, you might be right. The owners are going, you know, other than Shohei. And Yamamoto, we're not giving these guys 10, 11, 12-year deals no more. We'll give them. At 31, why would you? Right. I mean, I wouldn't. No. I well, would you, do just, you would do it because that's the way business has been done and the way everybody has done these deals. And because it's, you know, it's, in the end, it's money. And you're making, you know, I, I, I you know, you're theoretically making money. Like, I, I, I look at it, it's very similar to the New England Patriots. Like, you're not spending in free agency this season. Why? Like, what? What are you hanging on to the money for? Like, like you're not spend the money. Like, you, you, like, what's the saying? You don't want to be the oldest person in the nursing home. <laughs> I, in, or sorry, you don't want to be the richest person in the nursing home. Mm -hmm. oh. Like, save. Like, what are you saving for? Like, spend the money. Like, go out and 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 you know, I, I don't care. If, Whatever your issue is, Calvin Ridley or whatever, like spend the money. Especially in the case of the Patriots, it's not like you can invest it anywhere. Like, what are you doing? It's just, it's there. Use it. Yeah. Well, I think in baseball they're saying, or at least it seems like, other than the Dodgers, they're saying, all right, we'll spend the money, but we're not, we're not, we're not handcuffing ourselves after five years of a deal where we gave this guy. 10 years and now we're sitting on five more years that we owe them at 30 million a year and we're not getting that production every single red sox championship team was saddled with bad free agent contracts mm -hmm. but they paid to overcome them right it's the cost of doing business. not no more though look at the contracts and, and i asked this was pretty cool i went to fox sports wow. and got this information of all the kind of like off-season free agent signings and you as i looked through a lot of these it's four years, three years, two years. Other than and I looked, at, other than the Dodgers, um, they had Yamamoto, which I think they gave him eleven years. Shohei, 
And then they also signed another player where they gave him five years. But if you start to look at the way Major League Baseball is going. Garrett Cole just got nine years, 324, two years ago. Two years ago. But if you start to see it, the only player that I hear, that I see this here is this kid um, out of Kansas City, the Bobby Witt Jr. He had an 11-year extension. But other than that, you you look at a lot of these players. They just players. gave Devers an 11-year extension. I'm saying a couple years ago, Curtis. No, last year, not L- even listen, a year. Now I'm talking about this year moving forward. That's what it but seems. Where's the Minnesota pay- Twins owner said it? Yeah. 